Welcome back to Midweek in the Word. Today I wanted to take a moment and reflect on a tradition that's been around for over 3,000 years. It's the notion of the public reading of Scripture. This is something that the church, the people of God, have been doing since the time of Moses, where they would hear from the Lord and then his spokesman would read or share with the people the, the, the word that he had for them. And often that moment came with all kinds of prayers of repentance, revival in the hearts of God's people. It was an incredible thing. The Apostle Paul in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 talks about how the Word of God became this, this powerful, influencing force in the lives of God's people. He says in, in the first chapter, For we know, brothers, loved by God, that he has chosen you because our gospel came to you, not only in word, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with full conviction. And then he proceeds to say that they received the word in much affliction and with joy in the Holy Spirit. And then through the rest of that letter, he's going to explain and explore with them what that joyful receiving of God's word by the power of the Holy Spirit was going to mean in the lives of, of the people. And as a congregation, we got the joy of being able to walk through that beautiful letter, 1 Thessalonians, um, together as a, as a congregation in the sermons uh, that we explored. And uh, at the end of that letter, the apostle then challenges and urges the leadership of that church to read that letter to the people, a continuation of this practice of public reading of Scripture. Tomorrow night, we're going to have a great joy. So Wednesday night, we're going to be at 7 o'clock on Zoom together, and we want to invite you and invite you to invite your friends to join us as we have a public reading of Scripture. We're going to read the entirety of 1 Thessalonians. It's a very short letter. Uh, the, the entire reading is maybe 15 minutes long. But our prayer is that God would use it to strengthen our faith, that he would use it to stir our affections for him, and that perhaps in it, we would hear from our shepherd. As Jesus told us, my sheep know my voice. And so we hope you'll join us tomorrow night and celebrate the incredible gift of God's word.